friend would fuck some a throw with a pussy. Girl. Girl. Yeah, that'd be like kind of ideal, dude. I don't have to get near the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking perfect. Are you kidding? You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My wife heard that and I heard her move around. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. She's opening the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that was the most scary moment of my life, dude. I almost got grounded. That was tough. I got grounded before I left. You got grounded, really? By your my, mommy? My brother grounded me. For what? He texted me and said, I'm grounded, and I need to come back home. He Are you serious? He just misses you, dude. Is that why you've been crying the entire yeah, time? Yeah, no, that's why I've been crying. It's because Eric said I was grounded. Damn, dude. Yeah. How are you going to recover? I don't know. I mean, how are you going to crawl yourself out of this? I probably won't. Yeah? No. What's the longest you've ever been grounded for? Longest I was ever grounded. No, I didn't get grounded for lie. I always knew how to weasel my way out of getting grounded. But yeah. the the first time I ever got in like serious trouble for something I did was uh when I first got Twitter in like twenty twelve. <laughs> yeah. And uh my cousin Patrick, I have a cousin named Patrick. <laughs> Looks just like you. No, he doesn't. He probably Oh, does. is he one of your big cousins? No, or I think we're the same height. He looks just so he like looks you. Exactly like yeah. you. No, uh, check me. He doesn't look like me at all. Okay, what does he look like then? I think just describe him, you fucking idiot. He. I feel like if I showed you a picture, you'd say he didn't look like me. Well, yeah, you probably you just, couldn't tell. So say some features say on, on his body. Uh, got a lot of tattoos. Oh, Samoan. that's not. That doesn't. Have <laughs> I was right, dude. He's Maori. <laughs> yeah, he's Maori. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's yeah, my Maori cousin Patrick. But. uh we went back and forth, and we were um, we we were talking about holiday themed dick pics, and my I somehow my aunt saw it in 2012. Yeah, exactly. Like in 2012, yeah. that's just an at midnight game. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my aunt saw it, and then uh, I guess something he said. He said like a uh, picture of my dick on uh, Yom Kippur with uh, Jewish sideburns or something. And my aunt, who I hadn't right? talked to since I was like, I hadn't talked to her in like four this is years. The, this is a Blue Lives Matter aunt. No, this is oh. not the Blue Lives Matter okay. aunt. This is the aunt who has notorious R RGB stuff syndrome. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but she uh, messaged my mom, or she messaged his dad, and then his dad called my mom and said, "Your kids are posting anti-Semitic things online." <laughs> And uh, my and your mom... Your dad was like, die. <laughs> my dad was like, hell yeah, dude. Nice, dude. No, I my, raised him boys right. My mom, as soon as I got home from school that day, my mom was like super mad at me. And I was like, what What the fuck is going on? She's like, you need to like delete your account, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what are you talking about? She said, you're posting anti-Semitic things. Dude. And I showed her that it was his kid, not me. Your mom hit you with a delete your account? Yeah, my mom Whoa. hit me with a delete my account. Damn. Yeah, so my, my mom was like, you... I, Uncle Bobby called and said you were posting anti-Semitic things and I was like no it was Uncle Bobby's kid who was posting the anti-Semitic things so take that <laughs> and he didn't call my mom back because <laughs> my mom explained to him like yeah you know because it was me my brother Paul and my cousin Patrick damn and they got yeah. confused by which Patrick exactly. They, they saw the yeah, Patrick they said name. they said Patrick. My, I think my aunt said Patrick is posting anti-Semitic things, and then Bobby called my mom immediately. <laughs> Eight years later, you're yeah. you're posting anti-Semitic <laughs> things constantly, <laughs> exactly. and rewarded for it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm rewarded by all done. those Jeremy Corbynites. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Patrick, longest Patrick runs uh, a small account that's been getting yeah, on the it's ground. Been getting a lot of uh, anti been... anti-Semitic cow, which is different mm -hmm. from anti-Semitism yeah, cow. <laughs> Anti-Semitic in a good way. Yeah. It's like, it's like, yeah, dude, fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sends moves to fucking every Jeremy Corbyn tweet. That's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. The longest I ever got grounded was I. Well, I didn't even get grounded for that. <laughs> oh, true. You didn't even I, I was under threat of getting grounded. Dude, I, I, got I don't grounded think like I've ever been like month. grounded, dude. I had some fucking harsh. Yeah, I, I know I, you I fucking fools, did, dude. You you were the one. Evil. You got you got caught more than me. Uh, don't say that because it kind of makes it sound like you're sneakier than me, which is just completely false. No, I'm sneakier than you. When it you comes literally, to my you don't know what you're talking about. Here. No, no. I'm sorry that your mom is you guys stupid and insanely off. hot, but she's not. <laughs> that's your fault. I got grounded because I just completely ripped off a paper in like high school. Oh, I never did that. And then my mom was I like, my mom was like, you're grounded for two months. 
And I was like, oh, fuck. And then my younger brother came down the stairs, and my mom would always get on him because he wouldn't shower, and his hair was always greasy. And she could tell that his hair was greasy. And she was like, when was the last time that you showered? And he was like, I can't remember. And she was like, you're also grounded for two months. (laughs) (laughs) So we both got grounded for two months, me for plagiarizing, and him because he couldn't remember when he took a shower. (laughs) Yeah. I feel like Cameron never got grounded. I I just said that he had fucking yeah, commie you, parents, yeah, dude. That's true. Yeah, yeah, I I did not. I just didn't do much bad stuff. I was a little shy kid. Yeah, I didn't okay. do. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't crazy like you guys. That's I was true. Cra- I was, was crazy. crazy. No, I was we crazy in my head, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had demons that I couldn't let out. You guys wouldn't understand that. I wanted to sell drugs. There was definitely yeah. something I almost... Oh. Yeah, I smoked a shit ton of weed in the basement. Hey, swag. And I uh, went upstairs and made a bunch of clam chowder, and I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> what are you yeah. talking about? Dude. <laughs> what the fuck? So I got... <laughs> I bought... You made a bunch of clam chowder. Yeah. You, That's I what was, you did. Yo, you I got so high so last night, I made a bunch of clam I, Clam so, chowder. <laughs> what the fuck? I almost got ground. It was before a parent-teacher conference. I smoked a shit ton of weed. And you brought a grocery bag of clam yeah. chowder. Hey, yeah. so y'all, y'all want to share? Bag of clam chowder. No, Family so, style, you eat so, it out of a Walmart bag. So it was the night before parent-teacher conferences, and I made a bunch of clam chowder, and I was about to make egg noodles for some reason. <laughs> That's a great combo. Yeah, Why clam chowder and egg noodles. And clam chowder. So... Yeah, that's what I was gonna do, dude. Okay, we. <laughs> that's know, what I was gonna do, and you got punished for it, dude. dude. So it was you like midnight. It was midnight good. before parent teacher conferences. So I made a shit ton of it, and then uh, I think the microwave went off, and I was like, that shouldn't have happened. Like I was like, I, I was too busy looking at the noodles to realize that the microwave went off, and then I went, oh no! And it was beeping for like a couple of minutes. My mom like came downstairs, and was ready to like get like she was pissed at me, and she looked at the fucking clam chowder sitting on the counter and was like, oh, having a little feast, aren't you? <laughs> Damn! And I was like, mom went medieval. Yeah, dude, she went medieval on my ass. I never got caught with smoking weed because me and my parents I didn't get smoking caught weed. Smoking the same weed. exact time. I, know, I, I didn't get caught. caught she didn't either. know I was high. Oh, uh, okay. But she did see that I was eating a bunch of food oh, okay. and was yelling yeah. at me for eating all the food and then went to parent-teacher conferences the next day expecting to hear something really bad because she was like, oh, now my son's a fuck-up. <laughs> and she, they went and she's like, yeah, no, he does all the work. He's just kind of like a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> My mom sat me down one day and she was like, she, she, no, she texted me while I was out. And she was like, uh, uh, you, you boys need to come home because I have something. We have to talk about something really important. And I was like, oh, fuck, dude. Her and my stepdad are, like, getting divorced or something. This is serious. And I got home, and they were like, come to the bedroom. Sit down with us. And they were like, uh, so basically we've been using medical marijuana to deal with our anxiety <laughs> because <laughs> I can't find a job. And Dude, I was the like, same <laughs> fucking shit happened. The same can't. shit happened to me. I, really? my, yeah, my fucking dad called me, and he was like, he was like, Cameron, I just want you to know that... Um, <clears throat> I sometimes I'll smoke marijuana because it calms me down and it I, and I like it and I just wanted you to know because uh, your younger sibling just found um, just found some in the attic and I just didn't I wanted you to hear from me <laughs> and I was like okay dad that's hilarious yeah, I don't, and I was in college I also know that it's not for anxiety <laughs> that was like so. in like sophomore <laughs> year of college. <laughs> Dude, the fucked up thing is that's like when, I, that, that's when we like knew each other too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, you know it might have been freshman year actually because okay. I think it was pretty soon after my parents got divorced. Oh, okay. I know Which, that it wasn't for anxiety because now I go home and my stepdad will like smoke a bowl and watch the Lord of the Rings <laughs> and, uh, like, <laughs> and like do a puzzle. Uh, or he goes, he, yeah, he wants to become an Urukai. That's why he <laughs> smokes weed. But it's just like, so, just like, just fucking. I don't care, dude. Yeah. I mean, my parents never, my parents never smoked weed. And then somehow I they, my dad, they could never tell could. that I smoked weed, even though like. They, I mean, they were just so brain dead about it. Yeah, yeah. They just. Yeah. Oh, dude, I almost got, I almost got caught one time. It's when smoking, go, smoking, go on. When I was fourteen, uh, this is before I realized I just can't smoke weed. But I like went up, 
the fucking oh motor cloth my on. God. <laughs> so I'll turn it off after this. But you won't. Um, <laughs> I won't. <laughs> so I like it was like when my sister was like a senior. So my sister, my brother, and I were in high school at the same time, mm-hmm. and she had her like ex boyfriend over, and uh, I like went. I got super high in the basement. I went upstairs, and I was going to grab Oreos, and I didn't think that her ex boyfriend was like. So like my I was in the basement. Do you but, want a piece of paper? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I have to map this out in my mind. But I open the door and he's looking right at me and my eyes are like just beat red. And I look at him and I go and just shut the door. <laughs> and I ran downstairs further into the basement and uh he like told Amanda that my like eyes were like super red and mm-hmm. they were like I heard them like talking. No, dude, like, he's just evil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yo, I think your brother might be the devil, I think your dude. Your brother got possessed. <laughs> yo. <laughs> but yeah, the omen and shit. That was like one of the scariest moments of my life. I was like, "Yep, I'm about to get dude, caught." I remember it's, coming home from from my friend's house, and my mom at four in the morning, and my mom being awake, and she was like, "Like, what's up? Like, how is? Where, where, where have you been?" I was in high school, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I was over at my friend's house." I mean, just, I'm like the highest I've ever been. I was like, yeah. oh, I was over at John's house. We were writing like a a, a parody of uh, Susical, and she was just like, what? she was just like, okay. Go. <laughs> she didn't even try to get me, dude. Yeah, it's like I couldn't tell her something that was more indicative of the fact that I was just fucked up. Yeah, and she just. I never... mean, one of the one of the tricks, one of the keys to to if you're really high and you're trying to hide it from your parents is you just act sad. Yeah. They say you had a bad day, and then you can just be quiet. Sorry, yeah. I shouldn't do that. Yeah, what are you talking like, about? <laughs> I can not fucking do that. Yeah, you have tough parents. Yeah, they call me it a work. fucking pansy or the yeah. F word. <laughs> yeah. But is that better than, than getting grounded? That's the question. No. no. Dude, <laughs> what are you talking about? At least grounded, you still have your dignity. Yeah. I've never been on... My mom has never called me... F- that would hurt <laughs> so bad. My, my mom does as a joke. Yeah, my dad... Uh, I think he... He called me a loser one time when I was bad at football. Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no. He did though. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. I think I think my parents were very disappointed when I stopped playing basketball. Dude, oh, I, yeah. I played I, I went to one practice in jeans. And I was like, I, I've never played basketball before yeah. in my life. I just realized. I, no, I know. I know. I was just like the biggest fucking like disappointment to like my because like oh yeah, you know, dude, like, my being, like, uncle being like like my dad being like oh here's a here's a Boston Red Sox sweatshirt yeah. for you to wear to first grade and then like being and being like I like Digimon. <laughs> I was yeah. like, dude, my uncle I, <laughs> assumed. I just know I caused him so much <laughs> psychic pain. God damn it, yeah. <laughs> my fancy son, dude. I still have he wants it. Wants to be a comedian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still have it, but my uncle, the day I was born, he, uh, my uncle Jack, my godfather, took, a. Uh, he had his game, like, he, I think he was, like, 18 when I was born. I don't know. I don't remember when he was born, but he had, like, a game-winning ball from one of his high school football games, and uh-huh. he wrote my name, my date of birth, my weight, like, everything. Whoa. I still have it. It's in my closet. It's a football from the day I was born. Wow. From one of his game-winning, like... Wow. Like, oh, he got the game ball. And I still have that, and I cannot imagine what he thinks of me now. <laughs> Just like, yeah, this kid's going to grow up. Yeah. He's going to be a fucking linebacker. It's like, nah. Yeah, dude. he walks in your house, <laughs> and you're, yeah. you're using it like a whoopee cushion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I played I played football for like three years. Really? And I was insanely good at it. Yeah. I wasn't. But I kept getting concussed. I knew <laughs> I can cuss like five <laughs> really? times as a kid. Yeah, as a kid. Damn, and this oh, is back, wow. like, people talk about, like, they're like, back in my day, football was way worse than it is now. Like, people used to leave with their head. That was, like, 2008. Yeah. Like, it was yeah. not that long ago yeah. that people did that. <laughs> one of my and, cousins. Like, wee football. <laughs> one of my cousins quit. Uh, it was, like, a flag football team. One of my cousins quit because the coach was like, use your fucking head. He was like, <laughs> I'm not going to lead with my head. I'm not going to charge with my head. God gave you that heavy brain for, so- <laughs> for something, buddy. Yeah, he, like, freaked out at him. And, like... The thing is, I was really good at football because somehow when I was 11, I was six feet tall, and I'm 5'9 now. Yeah. Like, I was fucking huge. You were probably 5'9 at 11, which is... Your mic exactly, just turned yeah. off. Oh, shit, I turned it back on. 
<laughs> Why did you turn it off? It was an accident. Just a <laughs> slip of the finger. Yeah, yeah. it happened. No, it was not a slip. But you definitely were like, "Oh, here's the switch." <laughs> yeah. Come on, that's true. Yeah. We should yeah. get you a Staples. That was easy, bud. That's true. I, if I, I, any kind of fidget tool we could use for me. That's why the I recording. could never be. I could never be like the president or anybody who has access to like nuclear codes because I've, ne- I've <laughs> never been in line at, at, at in yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've literally never been in line at Staples and not been like. I'm going to press that button right yeah. now in front of everybody <laughs> and just ruin their day. Right. Yeah. yeah. They get pissed, dude. They're like, we don't. You buy it, and then you press it. Yeah. Like, Maybe I want to test make sure it works. Yeah. Let me run yeah, this just thing. Scro- just scrolling through every website, just highlighting and unhighlighting every line of text. <laughs> like, yeah, you can't you can't give me any anything that I'm not supposed to click on. Absolutely not. Yeah. Mm. That's why Best Buy fucks up by having computers that you can access the internet on. Yeah. yeah. So you can go on. You can change the oh, yeah, background. Could, yeah, oh, the, yeah. The big thing in my high school was going to the Best Buy at the Manchester Mall, logging into Facebook on it, and then using the Photo Booth app, and then put, that was Dude, your profile I went, picture. I remember I when, I was really the... into, when I was really into Hearthstone, when Hearthstone was, like, big, they uh-huh. had, like, a... You could get, like, bonus packs for, like, playing on an iPad, and I didn't have an iPad, so I went to the Staples in Harvard Square, and I installed <laughs> Hearthstone on their iPads. And I, I one time put Goatsy on one of the computers at Best Buy. Uh-oh. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, dude, fucking epic, dude. I'm like anonymous right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a there's a picture of me very young. I'm wearing a... It's called Goatsy. Uh, wearing Ray-Ban. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a picture of me. Yeah. You don't want to see it. I'm 11 <laughs> no. years old. It's called Goatsy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 11, dude. That'd be some fucking <laughs> asshole for an 11 year old, bro. That yeah. thing's seen better days. <laughs> no, I'm like, I think I'm like 12 or 13, but it's me and uh, my brother's friends, and we're at the Apple store, and I'm wearing uh, the fake Ray Bans. Dude, the, the Wayfarers. I'm wearing yeah. those, and I'm wearing a shark tooth necklace. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Dude, I look shark pimp tooth as necklace hell. in the Boston metropolitan area. What's I'm, in, better? I'm in Manchester. It's not even fucking oh, Boston my metropolitan. God, dude. Yeah. I think it is still. Yeah, no, there's no fucking... The closest beach is an hour away, and I'm wearing a <laughs> fucking shark tooth necklace, dude. <laughs> That's sick, dude. Dude, I looked, I looked cool. Dude, dude, I, my uncle got me a, a, a fossilized shark tooth one time. Yeah. Oh, that'll, that'll blow your mind. <clears throat> Coolest thing if ever, you're a kid, yeah. He got, me, he got me arrowheads, too. Ooh. That's a little so offensive. Sick. Why? Yeah. Why? Um, it's because so it's, the natives. So it's wrong to... Uh, so uh, because... Uh, uh, <laughs> and that's the problem. <laughs> Nobody can tell you why. <laughs> Fucking own. It's a good thing to venerate another culture you respect and that you want to be part of and you want to dress up as on Halloween. Yeah, it's amazing. It's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my, my grandpa brought back these Vietnamese eyelids from the war. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I mean, you know, what, what am I, how, am I going to say no? Yeah. What, <laughs> these are what, perfect, what am I going to do? Yeah, these are Take perfectly them. good ears, okay? Yeah. I'm not going <laughs> to just throw them away. What? I'll never <laughs> throw my away a good ear. My grandpa would get so mad at me if I didn't wear his <laughs> ear necklace to school. <laughs> you would think it was disrespectful, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my my grandpa Fuck. my grandpa killed a whole village for this, man. <laughs> I'm not It's <laughs> fucking 18 ears on this. You know how much work goes into that? It was He's an artisan. <laughs> it's a lot of time. It was it's a from, lot of fucking was, time. It was from one guy. He was, yeah. the, he was the, he was the village. from one guy. He was the village monster. He brought him back. My, my, <laughs> my grandpa went to ward the circus. <laughs> yeah, he's got he's got a necklace of girl beard hair. <laughs> Dude, he's got a necklace of clown noses. <laughs> Dude, I need to check on my grandpa since Trump lost. I bet he's not doing well. Yeah. 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 I bet he's doing so badly. He has, like, all the hats. He has the white one. Oh, man. Ooh. Once you buy the white one, the you're, coolest no one back. is the one that, that, uh, that Poopy Pie 360 has. Oh, yeah. The, 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 the real tree one? Yeah. Yeah. That the, one is The cool, real tree yeah. one. Honestly, yeah. that one does kind of look. Dude, sick. anything that has real tree on it, I'm just like I would wear that. It doesn't yeah. matter what it says on it. When I, when it just looks cool. When Trump like it. first started like running, there's a there's a picture of me in a Trump shirt because I didn't think he would win. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one yeah. of my my friend, my high school friend's roommate bought one because he was like a serious Trump supporter and I put it on as a joke and I was like hey guys check me out <laughs> uh-huh. and then like months after like as soon as he got elected I was like I need to delete that <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> there's a photo of Noah 
wrapped in the Confederate flag. <laughs> which I guess that I guess that had no nothing to do with Trump being elected. No, <laughs> that would, I didn't look good at the time. Yeah, but I does. Oh, here it is. Make me laugh sometimes. <laughs> I do remember once me and my cousin on like the first debate being like. Let's go, Trump! Yeah. Let's fucking go! Right, because yeah. you, you don't think that guy's going to fucking win. I mean, and he texted me like when Trump won. He's like, I can't believe it did that. I was like, yeah. it was still funny. It was still yeah. funny. <laughs> you know. Yeah, whatever. it's cool that he's out, but he's out as bisexual, yeah. guys. Donald Trump <laughs> is bisexual, and he loves drama. Yeah, Barron's actually his boyfriend. He's yeah. his little boyfriend. <laughs> not even his son. People yeah. are like, how do you fucking pop that kid out? You didn't, dude. That's yeah, his boyfriend. That's his 14 that's his year old yeah, boy. He's a fucking. He's his twinker. His twinker? <laughs> yeah. Twinker. And then he got Milani, got a milfy wife, and a fucking twinky little baby, <laughs> folks. The, the polycule. What the hell is wrong with us, dude? We got. We're weird.